Transferring comic books to the medium of film is usually a hard task for filmmakers, mainly because despite there being a ton of content on the print itself, the sparse use of visual change means that directors try to spice up conversations with movement, fights and other weirdness. Yet sometimes the panel and the still are one and the same. So iconic is the image or sequence that it needs to be replicated shot for shot. For fans who have read these iconic scenes, seeing their favourite comic book moments thrown up onto the big screen is a huge thrill. With this in mind, I'm Jules for WhatCulture.com and these are 10 comic book movie scenes taken straight from the panels. Number 10. Spider-Man No More Spider-Man 2 In The Amazing Spider-Man number 50, Peter Parker gave up his suit and responsibilities in search of a better life. The concept of giving up a secret identity is quite common in comic books, but this image of the alley and the binned suit is, much like my weak attempt at comedy, completely enduring. So when Sam Raimi decided to loosely base the second of his films on the Spider-Man No More story, he recreated the scene to perfection. The lighting, the placement and the humbling score all add to what was a monumental moment in Spider-Man's long history. Number 9. Kick-Ass Gets Stabbed Kick-Ass during his first day on the job fighting crime, Kick-Ass doesn't do so well, as in he gets stabbed and then hit by a car. It was a truly memorable scene in the comic showcasing how distinctly realistic Miller's world was, and it works equally well on film. There are subtle changes to the dialogue and the fact that there's two villains instead of one, but the scene overall is spot on. Number 8. Batman Takes on the SWAT Team – Batman Year One It's difficult to not consider Year One as one of the all-time greatest Batman tales. In his decades of existence, Batman was probably never more defined than he was by this story, which made seeing it brought to life in gorgeous animation a very exciting prospect. The film adheres very close to the comic that inspired it, but it's the sequence where Batman takes on an entire SWAT team by himself that was the most fun to see. It was perfectly brought to life with incredible animation and a strong connection to the source material, including shots that are pulled right from the panel in all their visceral glory. Number 7. Bullseye Kills Elektra Daredevil Though Ben Affleck's first turn as a superhero has been critically panned by fans and everyone over the years, Daredevil still maintained a few clear connections to the comic that inspired it, specifically the untimely death of Elektra at the hands of Bullseye. It's a scene which was first printed in Daredevil number 181, which saw Bullseye engage in a brutal fight with Elektra and stab her with her own sigh. While the film got a lot wrong, this fight and fatal ending was shot to near perfection. The sick, disturbing pleasure that Bullseye gets from killing Elektra in the comics is seen to be very present in Colin Farrell's performance, and there's even a few panel-to-screen homages for good measure. Number 6. The Winter Soldier Wakes Up – Captain America – The Winter Soldier When Bucky Barnes finally revealed the truth about his creation in Captain America No. 11, his tale was accompanied by a shocking set of panels detailing the torture and disfigurement he received. It's a powerful moment as it just shows how much pain he was subject to in order to be used as a weapon against his former best mate. In Captain America The Winter Soldier, we are also treated to this horrifying moment, with panels being recreated left, right and centre. The effect was even highlighted by the use of a harsh sepia tone, almost calling back to the faded pages where this event first took place. Number 5. Bane Breaks the Bat – The Dark Knight Rises Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy played fast and loose with the Batman lore, drawing from the likes of No Man Land, Year One, and all other tales in between. Yet one scene that was recast in a near-perfect form was the breaking of the bat at the hands of Bane. After beating Batman nearly to death, Bane takes full advantage of the situation and delivers the battle's final blow. In the film, this was not only perfectly recreated, but was utterly shocking. Number 4. Action Comics Number 1 – Superman Returns So, Superman Returns is not what I, nor many others, would consider to be a return to form for the Kryptonian. Yet, whatever you thought of the film, there was one moment of pure brilliance to be found. Nearly everyone in their negative zone nan will know of the cover of Action Comics Number 1, in which Supes is seen lifting a car over his head in a display of his Superman-ness. Well, wouldn't you know it, Brian Singer clearly loved this image as he crafted a near-perfect recreation in the movie and it is truly a lovely sight to behold. Number 3. Level Up – Scott Pilgrim vs. The World Now, to be fair, there are tons of moments in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World which line up perfectly with Brian Lee O'Malley's indie page-turner, and while the ending can miff a few people seeing as it was shot before the ending of the book was actually in place, it's just beautiful to see how much of it all lines up. However, if we're looking for a personal favourite, then it has to be when Scott overcomes his insecurities to get the girl, complete with RPG-like stat boosts, and I tell you what, I f***ing love stats. Number 2. Gwen Stacy's Death – The Amazing Spider-Man 2 
quite the gut punch for both the reader and Spider-Man in The Amazing Spider-Man number 121. This not only cemented, as if he needed it, Norman Osborn as a top-tier level shit heel, but also acted in giving Spider-Man a much-needed dose of reality. Now, in the film there are some changes, what with it being Harry's version of the Green Goblin and it being inside a clock tower instead of the Brooklyn Bridge, but still, the image of Spidey's web snapping Gwen's neck is painfully recreated, and it is not lacking on an emotional level as a result. And number one, 35 minutes ago, Watchmen. 35 minutes. Enough time to fall prey to Adam Cleary's air quotes wit if you're of the female and desperate persuasion, and apparently, according to Ozymandias from The Watchmen, the exact amount of time that your plan to affect the course of the entire world has already been in motion for. This revelation in Alan Moore's seminal work is the culmination of some of the best written comic book dialogue, this side of when Captain America's shield hit with the power of wank. Wank. The scene in the film is created entirely in sync with these panels, excluding the giant space squid, of course. But you know what? It's utterly fantastic. And that's our list. Got any more panels which made it to screen perfectly? Well, let me know about them in the comments section below. And why not swing by whatculture.com for more news and articles like this every goddamn day. As always, I've been Jules, you've been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon.